right y'all welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the videos hope everyone out there's having a great day today we are finally putting our hands back on the tl after i'd say three and a half to four weeks now since we picked it up from the uh fab shop so it's been quite some time guys today we got some goodies that are going into the car to help with the cooling with the turbo setup it's going to generate a lot more heat inside of the engine bay and just towards the motor so we got an aluminum radiator we're going to be installing hoses that are on the way a new thermostat and this liquid chill which i don't know a lot about i was recommended to get it i'm going to do more research on it the week right after we picked up the car we were prepping to go to the sand dunes then we went to the sand dunes the next week i got sick i was in bed for like four days and then the week after that, it's just been like catch up mode. So to be honest though, I don't know how it's the middle of June and we are where we are. Time just, just goes by like that. So like you gotta make the most of every day, especially when you get sick. Cause the next week I was just playing catch up, trying to do double time on everything. So it's gonna be a straightforward job guys without the bumper and all the plastics underneath. Pretty easy, which we'll pull off. We got the OEM radiator. We also bought like a little bolt kit because I was so tired of seeing the rest on these. Another thing guys, we've been getting a lot of comments about, but this thing is so ugly right here. We've got a little coolant reservoir that we're gonna mount probably not on that side. Probably mount it somewhere over here. I don't know. I think right here would be good actually. Before we get into the install, I wanted to let you guys know we dropped a video of our last trip to the sand dunes. My first time driving the sand car. 850 horsepower. Check out that video. All you TL guys, I know it's not recommended to you guys because it's like off-road content and it just looks different as far as thumbnail goes compared to the TL or you're just not interested, but check out that video. This thing is just absolutely insane. We're replacing the boot right now. Look at how beefy these axles are, guys. Huge. My hand compared to the boot. The big toys. And we just got these new front tires mounted onto it. We're going out in two weeks and we're gonna have both cars out. So stay tuned for that video as well. All right, back to the install. Move this white drain plug. That would fall a little more peacefully. Next, we'll work on getting these fans out. The only work we have on the bottom is this 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter right here, and another one right here. You just have to loosen these. As you can see, the, uh, the fan just slides into the bolt right there. Unplug the fans and then unplug this temp reader right here. We're gonna have to re-drill into the new radiator. Gotta loosen them. I'll unplug this fan up top right here. Then we got 10 mil, 10 mil, 10 mil, 10 mil, and this top hose right here. It's not coming out, it's because there's these two clips right here. I just yanked them out from the bottom. Two radiator mounts up top. 10 millimeters as well. Ooh, little, maybe hit a bird. We'll take these little bushings and those go right here. Let's go right here on the bottom. That in good. The temp sensor right here, we're gonna retap a new one into there. So I'm gonna pull this out and then we'll go to Ace Hardware, make sure we get the right thread. Here's what you guys are gonna need for this tap. We got 10 millimeter with a one millimeter pitch. 
We got some new hardware for all of the uh, fan connections. Just a straight up bolt. It'll look a lot cleaner. So yeah. Yellow dot marks the spot. Before we get to the bottom right here, you guys see that gap right here still? Honda Bond, high temp, gasket maker. We're just gonna sit back and hope that doesn't leak. It's the best idea I came up with. If anyone else has any better suggestions. Was that the best spot to tap? I don't really know. I feel like I feel like the metal's too thin. I only had like two to three layers of thread. It went on there pretty tight though. And we got the high temp gasket maker around it. I never actually got to show you guys how it's routed right here. Well, we kind of could see from the bottom, but here's a good look from the top of how the manifold's routed. You can check out the See the wells on that. So I was looking at that and then I looked at my slave cylinder and look at this bolt right here. This bolt isn't even on there. I don't know if it walked itself out or it had to get loosened for this job he did or if I loosened it a long time ago when I was gonna change the slave. And I'm talking like four years ago, guys. We never did that to this car. But look what I just found on the shelf. This is from Hilto. Slave cylinder with the, uh, I can't even remember what it's called. So yeah, right here. You go in on the back side of this and you pull this thing out and it's like spring loaded. Cause he puts these in a bag and then pops them open and the spring, everything shoots out. And then he removes the restrictor that's in there and allows more of the fluid to pass through for smoother shifts. So I'm gonna be installing this before the radiator goes in. A 17 on this right here and put a 10 on here to break it loose. We got it loose already, and now we're just gonna spin the 17 off of here. As you can see, we're already dripping. CDV delete service from Hilto. All right, now we can bust off the two 12 millimeters up top. Fly OEM unit right there. New piece going in. Very easy to install and get to especially without the radiator here. And when I have someone else at the shop, I'll have them pump the brakes and we'll bleed it through right here. Here goes the spawn wall, Chinese version. Test fitting. Well, look at that fitment. All right. All right, she's in. Now with the fans. This just arrived today. It's our Mishimoto Racing Thermostat. It's the product number. It's for a S2K 99NSX. The reason why we're replacing this is because this thermostat is gonna open at a lower temp than the OEM one. Thermostat goes right in here. Just gonna unplug these sensors out of the way. And it looks like we got a 10 mil bracket, and then there should be two 10 mils holding the thermostat in. There's the cover. Just wiggle it. There oh, we go. Well, oh, that's going everywhere. That little tab right there on the top lines up with that 
tab on the top of there. It's gonna be hard to show you guys. Got everything buttoned up here. Everything hooked up down below. The spawn wong looking pretty sharp. Everything we put in today, we'll leave a link down below. So check those out if you're interested. But uh, yeah, better cooling on a budget for the Acura TL with the turbo setup because we're gonna be generating a lot more heat. So we got one more thing to install for today's video. You guys keep on giving me junk about that. The main reason why I'm addressing it is because when I turn this wheel all the way, we get real close to that wastegate. And so if I can go out another, for the fronts, I'm gonna run a 20 millimeter with the waffles. Hey, the stance may not be as cool as it should be but for running the waffles and doing speed runs with the setup the Meisters fit perfect we all know that but I wanted to look a little bit better with the waffles on definitely made it a lot a bit better I could have put the 25s in the front but we're gonna save the 25s to the rear because our rear side is what's really hurting before after you know what I could have got some 40 mils. It goes in there two to three inches lower than that, and it's only gonna tuck even more, so. I could have gone a little bit more, but at least you can see some tire um, from the back. Looks a lot better, but I could have gone a little bit farther. Actually looks a lot better though, so glad we did that. Looks a lot better, the front and the rear from the side now. Today's Sunday, Taylor comes in on Friday, and he stays till Sunday. So this car will be running either six days from now or seven days from now. I can't wait to get that first start up. We've been waiting so long. We've been waiting so long for this. Stay tuned guys for the next video. We got the fuel pump install and we also got this gauge cluster to install OEM fitment. Stay tuned guys for the next video. Drop a like on today's video. Leave your comments down below. We'll see you guys soon.